Welcome. You are about to view a demonstration of the Employee Self-Service or ESS leave tool. ESS uses your work schedule to track real-time leave information. To log on, enter your 8-digit personnel ID number followed by your password. If you do not know your password, click the Reset Password or New User link below the Login button. To begin, select Leave Requests from the navigation bar. Click Submit a Leave Request. Let's take a look around the Leave Request screen. Note the three number blocks at the top of the page. These blocks indicate the number of steps in the transaction and the step you are currently on. Below the number blocks you will find three options, Hide Calendar and Show Calendar. This is a toggle that allows you to remove the calendar from this view. The default view displays a calendar you can use to view leave information you have already submitted and the status of those requests. If you hide the calendar, click Show Calendar to add it back to the view. Show Time Account Hide Time Account This is a toggle that allows you to add or remove your time attendance balances from your view. Show Overview of Leave. Hide Overview of Leave. This is a toggle that allows you to add or remove an overview of your submitted leave requests along with the status of your leave. You can also use the Show Overview of Leave to select a request that needs to be changed or deleted. Let's get started on submitting a leave request for your supervisor. First, select the type of leave you're requesting from the drop-down list. All available leave types will display. Please keep in mind agencies have the ability to select what leave types are available to their employees, so some of the leave types listed here may not be available. Next, enter the from and to dates you will be on leave. You can enter the date directly into the field or click on the calendar icon to select the date. Enter the number of hours you plan to be gone. Note, partial hours can only be entered in tenths of an hour, which is in increments of six minutes. Enter the start and end time for your leave. For example, my scheduled hours begin at 7.30 and end at 4.30. The name of your leave approver is filled in automatically based on your agency's organizational structure. We recommend providing a note for the approver. Now click Review. Note the number blocks at the top of the page have advanced to Step 2, Review and Send. Now you can review your entries. If the information is correct, click Send. Otherwise, click Previous to correct the entry. Once the request is sent, the number blocks at the top of the page will advance to Step 3, Finished. This means you have submitted your leave. An email will be sent to your supervisor for approval. You can now log out of ESS. Once a leave request is submitted, the employee's supervisor will receive an email notifying them a leave request has been made. As an approving supervisor, you will log on to ESS the same way the employee logs on. At the Welcome page, select Leave Request from the navigation bar. As a supervisor, you have two additional options on the Leave Requests page approve and reject leave requests for your employees, and submit approve leave requests on behalf of your employees. Let's approve a leave request submitted by one of your employees. Note the three number blocks at the top of the page. These blocks indicate the number of steps in the transaction and the step you are currently on. At this time, you are on the display and edit step. 
From here, you will see a work list of leave requests that are awaiting your approval. Select a leave request by clicking the box next to the date of the request of the employee you will be approving or rejecting. Once selected, leave information and leave balances for your employee will appear at the bottom of the screen. You can go ahead and approve the leave request at this point. However, it is recommended you first check the team calendar to see if other team members have requested leave for this same time period. To do this, click on the Show Team Calendar link just above the Leave Request table. The team calendar displays a list of your direct reports along with all leave requests submitted. The legend at the bottom of the table indicates the status of the leave requests. Light pink indicates a request is pending approval. Dark blue and light blue indicate there is a leave request or leave requests already submitted and approved for that day. Dark pink indicates an employee has submitted a request to delete leave. If you click on the date of the leave request you are ready to approve, you will notice the employee's leave information displays below the calendar. From here, you can approve or reject the leave request. Select Approve. Note, the number blocks at the top of the page have advanced to step 2, Review and Send. Review the employee's leave and leave balances for accuracy and add an optional note to the requester prior to submitting the request for review. Click Review. If everything looks accurate, click Approve Request. Note, the number blocks at the top of the page have advanced to Step 3, Completed. You have approved the leave request. An email will be sent to the leave requester confirming the approval status of the leave request. If you have additional questions on how to submit, modify, or delete leave requests, or if you need information on how to read leave balances, select ESS Help from the navigation bar. Thank you. This concludes our training.